Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest and today we've got a look at Makulu Linux Flash 2020. This will be released Monday the 30th, that's tomorrow, this recording is on Sunday. So March 30th, you should have this available. So this is based off of, as far as I can tell, Debian, it could be Ubuntu, uh, running the XFCE desktop. And uh, the developer goes on to say it's designed for ease of use, comfort, stability, and pure raw speed. With that XFCE desktop in place, which is somewhat heavily themed here, you still get a very snappy feel. You'll notice a conky running here on the desktop, and most of what you see is default. There's a selection of about 50 wallpapers, very unique wallpapers, very unique icons. In fact, I don't believe I've ever seen the majority of the icon sets that are here, so it's kind of got its own very unique styling. You even have two menu launchers here. You've got one on the left, and this is your more, I think, newer um, XFCE option. And then here on the right, you've got this full screen option. You get a, a large grouping of the icons, so kind of unique there. There's translucency built into the desktop and everything. Uh, very up-to-date kernel, or a ready-to-update kernel, should I say. I'm going to go ahead and exit Bluetooth. I don't need that now. Uh, let's just go ahead and run through a couple of things here. All the codecs are built in. I haven't put this through all of the tests as far as any media goes, uh, you know, with this recording and some editing and things like that. And it appears that all of your codecs are right there. You've got Synaptic Package Manager, quick access to various software sources, the official repository here, uh, PPAs, if you've added those. So you've got a list of those added. Uh, graphics drivers here. Yeah, lots of graphics drivers. Uh, LibreOffice PPA. So you'll want to scroll through that and just kind of see what all is in place. And then additional repositories here. We have Google, uh, Makulu Linux, Mega is in place, Play on Linux is in place. You do have uh, access here for Wine. You can install an EXE just by right clicking and choosing Install because all of that's set up for you. You've got Steam in place, Sync Thing in place. And let's see here, you're from, from this uh, Makulu Linux Flash tool here, you can fix merge list problems, purge residual configuration, remove foreign packages, and downgrade foreign packages, all from right here. So aside from the 50 wallpapers, you've got 24 variety colored themes, uh, 10 variety colored icon sets, RAM requirement, 1 gig or more, so very low on resources there, and basically a slew of customizations within XFCE that kind of gives this just a, a really unique feel. In fact, I've got to say I probably have not run a distro similar to this in some time, especially with dual menus here. Uh, we'll go into the file explorer here and you can just get an idea of what things... I've never seen this icon set anywhere, so just on the look side, and if we right click here and go to desktop settings, we'll maximize this and you'll see just a uh, very unique, very colorful selection of wallpapers. So kind of interesting. Let's go to Superman here. You do have variety in place so you can turn that on or turn that off or set up various preferences for how often you would like for your wallpapers to rotate. Here they're set to change every two hours. Let's jump over here to accessories and we'll go through a quick software rundown of what's installed. Uh, you've got some of the usuals here. Archive Manager, Calculator, Clam TK, I'm not familiar with that. You've got catfish file searches set up for you as well as LeafPad. And then down here we see Wine Tricks, so that's all in place as well as variety for the wallpapers. Looks like you may have Mint, uh, USB Image Writer, and USB Stick Formatter. I believe these are typically based off of Mint Stick and they work very well. Got a few games in place here, so let's go back to that. You've got Solitaire, Chess, Lutris, Play on Linux and Steam both set up for you, ready to go. Now, I haven't verified these or tried these, but they are in place. And then Sudoku. Scroll on down to Graphics, LibreOffice Draw, MyPaint, Nomax, Pinta, and Shotwell are all in place. Under Internet, you've got Google Chrome set up as the only browser, and that's really different than a lot of distros that you see these days, which typically come with Firefox. You also have MegaSync in place, so if you're a Mega user, you've got that set up and running for you. Open Drive, I haven't messed around with that any. pCloud, which is something I do use, and that's already set up and in place, So, as well as Skype. Let's go over to Multimedia. 
Now here for uh, media player, you just had MPV. I went ahead and installed VLC. That was not set up uh, initially as well as screen recorder so that I could record this video. Then under Office here, you've got LibreOffice, and it's uh, the later, the latest version of LibreOffice. And then a whole slew of settings here. We're going to go ahead, in fact, we'll take this on up. And this is AppGrid. This is what we have running over here, I do believe, for the menu. Uh, you've got Appearance, and let's just go ahead and launch into that. And you'll see all of the Makulu various themes in place or styles in place. Uh, lots to choose from, and you'll just notice here in this window as I click through how things change color immediately. So let's go here with that teal and we'll kind of keep it there for now. As well as icons. So you've got a large selection there of icons. Let's see. Yeah, we can stretch that out. So Makulu blue, brown, cyan, so on and so forth. Green, gray, orange, purple, red, all in place. So let's uh, switch over here. Yep. Immediate change. Didn't even need to log out there. And I think you've got your usual list of fonts here. You'll notice the highlight colors have changed here too as I go back and forth. Then we'll go under settings and scaling is... I actually had to change the monitor's resolution here on this laptop uh, as opposed to just the scaling because there's no fractional scaling here within XFCE. So, all right, let's go back in and look around at what else we've got here under settings. You've got bleach bit in place. Uh, boot repair tool. It's pretty full featured. A driver manager. Let's see what else we've got that might be standout. Panel settings here for XFCE. Screen saver setup. Software updater, which there is an update, and I've been saving that. So we'll go ahead and take a look. You do have a right click menu while that's populating. Create launcher, folder, document, terminal launch terminal themes in 3d and we'll take a look at that here in just a minute as well not all updates can be installed so first of all I thought it was going to show me updates alright let's see what we've got so updates here in boot repair looks like LibreOffice as well Mesa and Vulcan drivers a decent update and we'll do that later let's go ahead and right click and we'll go back down to themes in 3d so if you wanted to change your cursor change right here and you'll see that's kind of a gray got a black here and then instantly you can change those colors again so from a right click without going through the menus you can get those colors changed we'll stay with orange there and that quickly you've got a different look all right we'll go back into settings just want to look for anything else that might be stand out and that looks like that's about it as far as anything stand out you got preferred applications there and then under system again you've got uh, bleach bit Auto log on, driver manager, there's uh, Wine, and I, again, I apologize, I haven't tested out any Windows applications under Wine. Um, that might be something that I'll do and then kind of report back. System monitor, Xterm all set up, and package updater, dev packages, and GDB package installer as far as boot repair. So lots of tools, useful tools here. All set up. It's kind of a, I would say, a full-featured OS. Um, this theming is very unique. The icons are very unique. So overall, this is kind of a, a unique distro with two menus, various themes and color schemes that are different than what you normally find. It is extremely fast. I can say just poking around, setting up things, installing apps, just you know, using it like you normally would. It's extremely fast, and that's always a plus. We'll go into the software manager here, and we've all seen this standard setup. Go back over to updates. It says it's up to date. Last checked, 31st of December, 1969. Now that's interesting. <laughs> that was a while back. Uh, let's see, updates here. Test update script is now live. Adding cloud capabilities to Flash, fixes for some content, or, or excuse me, fixes for some control panel issues. Server location, just kind of stepping through this for the first time, and this takes us back into our repository. So we'll update later. There's even a video guide there for that. So stay tuned if this uh, looks of interest to you. Stay tuned for tomorrow. So I gave my word that I wouldn't post a link to the download to this 
till it was released, which again will be tomorrow. So I want to keep my word there. There will be a link down in the video notes section for the website. And if you have interest in this, uh, just check in with the website tomorrow, uh, depending on your time zone and that kind of thing. And uh, you should be able to download the ISO and have it ready to roll. All right, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching.